Hello and welcome to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Grand Arena Championships Season 25, Week 4, Round 2. My name is Boma Fett. I'm currently 6 and 4. Let's see who my opponent is this round. R.D. Lister. When I looked at my grouping for the week, this is the guy that I picked out to be first place. So let's go to the Hotbot for a quick comparison. The Hotbot report is showing a lot more red on R.D. Lister's side than I have green on my side, so let's zoom in and take a closer look. The top section here shows that Lister is a very good GAC player. We had almost 900,000 lifetime banners in the old GAC system, a best score over 50k. These are very solid numbers here. Lister has 1.2 million more galactic power than I have overall, with about a quarter million more in the top 80. He has almost 20 more Zetas applied and has more speed at the top of the roster. This is one spot where I usually have an advantage, but not this round. Lister has 24 more Gear 13 characters than I do, and another 16 more Gear 12, I have a lot more 6-stop mods, but Lister has a lot more mods with high-speed secondaries. So either they've been really, really careful about the mods they've been slicing, or they've gotten really lucky with their slicing. Those 24 additional Gear 13 characters translate to almost 200 more total Relic levels, 414 to 233. So from this whole section, you can tell that I am at a very large disadvantage as far as the roster is concerned. And that disadvantage gets even bigger when we look at the Galactic Legends. RD Lister has four Galactic Legends to my one. And according to GAC history, he puts two on defense and keeps two for offense. In the key characters and important ships, interestingly, with these key characters, I actually have the speed advantage on all of them other than Commander Ahsoka Tano. I also have a six-star executor, whereas Lister has only a four-star executor. So that's perhaps my one big advantage, is that my executor is a couple of stars higher than RD Lister's. Let's go to the game and take a look at the board. So once again, I have set a very weak defense in order to save enough for offense that I can try and get a full clear. So you'll see in the top zone here, I've got Qui-Gamacron Jin without Jedi Knight Anakin, which means that this is an easy squad to beat. Kylo Ren Unmasked, Beskar Mando, and Akbar Rebels. In the bottom zone, I've got Darth Revan, I've got this Dengar Bounty Hunter squad, and I've put Barris Offie with Dengar. They've got kind of a synergy between them. Dengar reduces crit damage against his squad, that's what his leadership does. And then Barris gives them healing whenever they're crit. So any critical hits against this squad are not going to do very much damage. I'm hoping that will make this kind of a survivable squad, and then maybe I can get a lucky delete from Boba Fett, get the thermals out there from Dengar, and strip some banners. I've got Dooku Separatists, and I actually decided to put two of my Geonosians here. I've got both Spy and GBA, who will bring along the Brute. So I'm sacrificing my Geo squad, but I'm hoping that this is a little bit tougher squad to beat than the one that I've been setting. And then I've got the Sith Triumvirate with Darth Talon. In the back zone, I've got Crap Rebels with Wampa, Mandalorians, and Mon Mothma. The ship zone is really my only hope of getting a hold. I've got my Executor and a Finalizer fleet. Let's see R.D. Lister's defense. In the top zone, we've got Mothma, Geonosians, a double Mando squad, and Django Bounty Hunters. In the bottom zone, we have two Galactic Legends. We have Sith Eternal Emperor and SLKR. 
along with General Grievous and Phasma. So we're going to start against Sith Eternal Emperor. I don't remember the last time I saw Sith Eternal on defense. So I had to look up what the best counters are, and the counter that I'm going to go with is General Grievous. And we'll put in Nuke Gunray. Like I said, this is not something that I do or that I've done. So my fingers are crossed that this will work. I'm hoping to at least get down all the sides and then I can clean up Sith Eternal. But if I could just win outright, of course that would be preferable. So let's see who he links. Newt and the Magna Guard. They were the two who were not uh, stealthed, so it makes sense that he would link them. Maybe this. We'll keep healing our people as much as possible. Oh, I would really like to be able to kill two of them at once because as soon as you kill one the rest get all their health and protection back so if I can get if I can get both of them at once that would be the best Oh, see? Didn't want to do that. I was hoping that all that extra protection would, uh, would keep him alive. So we've got an issue here with uh, having the healing immunity there. That's kind of one I, why I wanted to get rid of Sidious first, is because of that healing immunity. Heal up some people. Uh, let's guess we have to do this. All right, now it's just Sith Eternal. He has not been able to work on his. Uh, on his ultimate so far, so that's good. We got that on him. Let's see if we can get some healing immunity on him, that's great. Keep the healing immunity on him. More extortion. Big hits. I think I'm going to lose my B1. Oh, I lost my Newt. Okay. Healing immunity, please. Thank you. Lost the B1. Oh no, healing immunity. Get the healing immunity. Basic. 62 banners. Well, that was as ugly as it gets, but I'm happy with the one shot. Okay, so he could have a Galactic Legend in the back. The question is, 
do I try and split up my JML squad so that I have half of that squad available just in case? So I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to take my JML here. And I'm going to throw in Bastila Sean so that I have extra ability blocks. I'm not putting Jedi Revan on the squad, so I'm not going to have the Merc available. It's not ideal, but I don't want to pull too much away from other squads. Right. Folks, Luke, that's fine. Eflux. We don't have the turn swap from Revan to get Luke the turn faster. Uh, we'll give the buffs here. Okay. And now we have to go after him. Let's try and get some ability blocks. That's excellent. There we go. Stuns. Wow, he got his ultimate quick. Holy moly. Stun there. Foresight. Excellent. Good foresight. Deflux. We'll call Basti to put the ability block. Well, he already has ability block. Basti again. Call Luke. Nice dodge there. Call Luke again. There we go. 61. When you change up your squad, the cadence gets messed up, the turn order. So that was a different turn order, a different cadence than what I was used to, and I didn't have all the abilities that I was used to without Revan in there. But I wanted to save Revan. Against this Grievous squad is where I'm going to take that Jedi Revan. And you can see I need to fill in the squad here. We'll go with Shock T. And I'm thinking Kanan because he's a tank. All right, not the greatest comp for going after Grievous, but it's what I've got. I could always go Night Sisters, but I think I want to hold off on that. Yoda here. We'll do splash damage. Red buff. We're going to give this over to Shock T to get rid of the debuffs on her. We'll have her basic. Mm. We really need a mark here. Oh boy. Holy cow. Okay, we... Ooh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. We've triggered Savior. Um... Let's mark this guy. Let's revive. We really need to get rid of the uh, damage immunity. 
on the Droidica. The Droidica is assisting on every attack. We just lost our Yoda again. Okay, don't, don't kill Jolie. Don't, oh my gosh. So I didn't go Night Sisters because I thought this was safer. I should have gone Night Sisters. I think I just misplayed that. I should have used Revan's mark instead of passing the turn to Shock T to cleanse her. Like, I just was not thinking. I normally don't have Shock T on that squad. I usually have Bastila there. So definitely a misplay. I really, I wanted to get Shock T to dispel that damage immunity. All right, we'll go Night Sisters. I feel really dumb now, losing that battle. In a matchup like this, one early mistake can cost you the whole match. We'll do this. Let's see if we can get a stun here. Try again for the stun. Let's put the plague on them. We need the plague on the B1 so that we can get rid of the B1. Hitting that with the basic. There's a stun. Okay, resurrect. Get rid of the damage immunity on the Droidica. See, that's what's nice about the Night Sisters is that that dispel, you don't have to be targeting the Droidica. Okay. Resurrect them again. Oh, only one? Are you kidding me? Let's see if we can stun him. Stun. Resurrect. Stun. Okay, I should have just done that to begin with. Against Phasma, I'm going to go Bad Batch. You can see I've got two of them up to gear 12 now. And okay, we'll do this. Beautiful. See if we can get some stuns. Everybody but Kylo. Let's see if we can stun him. All right. Uh, we'll do this. I'm thinking about putting the uh, second Zeta on Omega. I'm not actually even sure what it really does. It's got a long convoluted explanation. Something about target practice or some nonsense, but might be good. 65. Let's hope there's not a GL in the back. Oh. Qui-Gon. First, I thought that that was Kenobi when I first saw it. Two ninety four plus thirty. My bounty hunters are faster than that. Wanted to take bounty hunters against the Mando squad, but I think I'll take the bounty hunters here.
Okay, we roar. We're gonna delete him anyhow. No reason to go after him. Let's uh, let's stun this guy maybe. Okay, delete him. Roar. Roll out the thermals. None of the thermals stuck. Are you kidding me? I have her modded for potency so that her thermals will land. Okay, at least we got the stun there. Let's see if we can get a stun over here. Let's get rid of him. Now they've got the extra damage. Let's see if we can get a stun. Oh, I tried to call her for the stun. Ayla, of course, counterattacks, but while my characters are uh, stealth, she can't counterattack. Mace Windu hitting hard. Nice. Zam can actually hit decently hard. Stun. Beautiful. Roar. There we go. We keep her in stealth. Uh, she's going to miss because of the foresight. Okay, this will be a 65. We're going to switch back to the front zone. Against Mothma, we're going to take Iden Versio. I fully expect them to nerf Iden. Um, in the State of the Galaxy that came out, um, Aiden was their example of a bottom tier character. Like when they were listing the different tiers, she was the lowest tier. And they did say that yes, there are some exceptions because of Omicrons and that sort of thing, but I don't think she's supposed to be able to do this. I really don't. Okay, there's one death. That means we'll be able to put death mark on people now. For AOE here. Okay, stop shooting bigs. Thought we were going to get caught in a loop there where... See, he shoots bigs back and then big shoots him. Okay, that was with the death mark, so he can't come back. Do this. Uh, throw that. The daze on Biggs there is nice. That way he's not gaining his bonus turn, so I can do all of my AoEs. Taunt up. There's the res that I was expecting. This may take too long. That's the only thing about this is that it takes a while. Like she's doing nothing to him. Okay, stop with this loop. Okay, we will death mark her. Now she can't come back. I'm surprised Mothma hasn't summoned the extra guy yet. Ok, 
Okay. I'm going to need that depth mark. We're down to two minutes left. These two just keep going back and forth in a loop. Throw that. Okay, we got healing immunity. That went away real quick. There we go. Stun is very helpful. This will do it. 65. Okay, against these bounty hunters, I was actually going to take my own bounty hunters, and then I switched them over to the Qui-Gon squad. So what do I have for these bounty hunters? Oh, I've got my CLS. We're going to go CLS here. How did I not know I had my CLS available? Stun boss, so he can't taunt. Should just get rid of boss, might as well. Blind them all. By Django. Sixty-five there. We can go Padme here. Or gas. Let's do Padme here. We can do a gas solo in the back. Go Shin. Hit. We'll go AOE. We'll spin this up. <laughs> uh, no whistling birds for you, buddy. Get rid of those dazes. We got rid of Nest. Sixty-two. Palpatine Vader here. Force Crush. Merciless. My Spy. Basic, 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 force crush, throw, oh we didn't kill him, uh, we'll flip this here. So you may notice that I did things in a slightly different order than normal, and that's because of a video that Zareth put out recently, and so I was trying to do things in the order that Zareth showed to do them, and it did not work. So is everybody all healed? I was hoping to get around to heal Vader, but it looks like he's good. So 66. In the back, we have the executor and the finalizer, same as me. Okay, we're going to come back to this. Uh, 
I guess may be able to solo one of these squads, probably the Karth squad, but I am not going to risk that. I'm going to go ahead and take in a couple of clones. this. We'll go after mission first. We'll do this. We'll go after Ordo. Okay, 66 there. And we're going to go Imperial Troopers here. Put this on the big guy. Um, do I need to push back turn meter? My guys are going to go next. I don't think I need to push back turn meter. Maybe I should have armor shredded him. Punch, punch. There's Echo, we'll AOE. Stomp, stomp. AOE. Punch, punch the little girl. And 65 there. All right, against the executor. my vulture that's okay don't kill my hyena that would not be okay uh, we'll bring in the spy here's the big RNG of course of course and he got the big dodge are you kidding me terrible RNG Wow, 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 wow. Bring in Sunfac. That went incredibly poorly. I remind you that that is a four-star executor.
kidding me? The idea behind having Clone Sergeant in there is he's a taunt that can't be ignored because he's not a pilotless ship, but apparently he doesn't taunt unless you bring him in as a reinforcement. The executor sucks. All right, so we're going to go after the finalizer here with our home one fleet. And I have no idea if this works against the finalizer or not. So I may not clear either fleet, we'll see. Almost got him. Um, I think I'm just gonna do a basic. There we go. I was tempted to do the special. But the special never lands anyhow, right? So why do it? Uh, let's go ahead and AOE. Put another target lock up. All right, we'll try and land the special here. No, see, it never lands. What's the point of that special? It never lands. the shuttle let's help bigs out oh on bigs again that's smart let's bring in the ghost AOE Seventy-one. Well, at least I know that this works. So from now on, when I see finalizer, I'll use home one. All right, so he's now attacking. I was unable to beat his executor. We'll see how he does against my defense. He's already taken out four squads. I'll come back in just a little bit and show you the final.
All right, so there is the loss against R.D. Lister. Not really a surprise. Going into it, I thought that he would probably completely smoke me. But then I got hopeful when he set two beatable Galactic Legends on defense. And had I played it right, I could have come away with the win. But one little mistake will cost you. I made more than one little mistake. But if you reversed any one of those little mistakes, I might have come away with the win. Let's take a look at the board. He was not able to beat my executor either. So the final was 1457 to 1446. I lost by 11 banners. So if I had gone with my Night Sisters and beaten Grievous in one shot, I get the win. If I don't have that brain fart with Clone Sergeant, where I forget that the taunt is his reinforcement ability, then maybe I'm able to two-shot the Executor. And if I do that, then I win. But I definitely think that that's a longer shot than just taking the Night Sisters in and killing Grievous in one shot. I do that counter all the time. I should have just done that. It would have worked. I would have won. So I'm kicking myself over that. This was a winnable match, and just one little thing cost me the match. But, like I said, this is the guy I picked to actually win the bracket because he had the second most lifetime banners in the bracket. He had the second highest galactic power in the bracket. He had four galactic legends and the executor. So I really expected him to go all the way, and I'm happy to have just gotten close to beating him. But I really think I could have won. I could have. So I'd like to thank Artie Lister for the match. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.